It's a quick and simple push block that was made specifically for this job because I had so many to cut, it was worth it. Uh, yeah, just three pieces of melamine screwed together so that they uh, saddle my existing uh, fence. Just slide straight up and down like that. A little bit of sandpaper on there for some grip and a screw with the head protruding there as uh, like a little pusher or a stopper. And yeah, you just place your piece against the fence, put this on top, push it through. Couldn't get any easier than that. Now the idea is they're going to be glued onto a backing board, as I said, and that backing board is a piece of 5 mil uh, masonite that you see there. The wall in the laundry is actually about 1800 long, but I couldn't do it in one piece. Um, I just wouldn't have been able to get the a, a piece that big in, in one go, mainly because of the tap that's in the way, the mixer tap wouldn't let me do that. So what, I'm, what I've done is it's going to go into two sections, uh, two 900 mil sections. And if you can imagine on this end, that'll just be all jagged. And then the piece here, it'll be jagged as well, but they'll fit it, they'll match in perfectly. So the way I'm gonna mount it to the wall is underneath a couple of these pieces. So if you look there, I've already marked, I'm gonna drill and screw the backing board into place. This piece will be left out. And then once the backing board is um, screwed into place, then just those little pieces where the screws are will be glued in to cover up the screws. So this first panel is pretty much glued up, but I have come across a slight problem. Somewhere in here, there's four unglued pieces as well, but can't actually pop them out because they're completely surrounded by other timbers. But I couldn't get, I couldn't let that get the better of me, and I came up with a solution, and I just hot glued a handle to the piece, and basically I can pop it out like that. How good's that? I mounted the two panels back in place so that I could um, start gluing the first lot of pieces on that second panel. By having the two in place meant that they would get glued uh, exactly in the right spot. I was just careful to make sure I didn't get any glue on the end that would overlap on the first half so that I didn't want them actually glued together at this point in time. After bringing the two panels back into the workshop, you can see here how perfectly they align. So all that's left to do now is to uh, finish the glue up on that second half. When it comes time to putting these two panels together in place, I can't actually slide one into the other because they're going into a space that's exactly the same size as the two panels when they're already together. So the only way to do it is to put one panel in place first and then overlap it with this one and hopefully just be able to push it into place. So to help me do that, I'm going to use a round over bit, a very small round over bit, and I'm going to round over all of these edges here. And that will hopefully help me key this panel into the gaps of the other panel. I 
I then just used a round file to round over the corners where the router bit couldn't get to. It was then finally time to apply a finish, clear coat of uh, polyurethane to the whole panel. I put the panel together and also popped in the, um, the loose pieces. The reason why I did that is because I didn't want to get any um, polyurethane coating on the insides of the gaps where I had to um, fit those pieces later on. Just want to make sure that they were going to fit. Well, I've popped in those last few pieces to cover up the uh, mounting screws and um, I've got to say, this thing looks awesome. Um, yeah, so happy with the result. Just to think that um, that's all basically offcuts. Um, yeah, they probably would have ended up in the fire pit, 